Hello dear learners, myself Amit Lunkar. Here we are going to study about the structural activity relationship of sympathomimetics. Sympathomimetics are nothing but the substances that produce effect similar to stimulation of sympathetic nervous activity and are known as sympathomimetics or adrenergic stimulants or adrenergic agonists. So in this video we discuss about the structural activity relationship of these drugs in detail with the examples. Let's begin with the structural activity relationship of sympathomimetics. The parent structure for many of the sympathomimetic drugs is beta phenyl ethylamine. Here is the structure of beta phenyl ethylamine that is it having a phenyl ring and ethyl side chain having a amino group. So here we consider the alpha carbon which are adjacent to amino group and next to this is beta carbon and that's why to this beta carbon the phenyl ring is attached that's why the name beta phenyl ethylamide. Here we consider this general structure for the discussion of structural activity relationship and this SAR of sympathomimetics here we studied by considering the three different substituents and which are phenyl ring substitution, substitution at carbon in side chain and substitution at nitrogen. So these are the three points which we considered for the discussion of this structural activity relationship. But before going to this structural activity relationship, you must know about the few points regarding this sympathomimetic drugs. The sympathomimetic drugs may be divided into catechol amides and non catechol amides. Catechol amides are nothing but which possess the catechol nucleus. Catechol nucleus that is ortho dihydroxy benzene. Uh, here the benzene ring and attachment of these two hydroxyl group and which are ortho to each other. Example like adrenaline. Here we have taken one representative example of this adrenaline which having a catechol nucleus. Whereas non-catecholamine means which do not possess the catechol nucleus. Example ephedrine. Uh, in that ephedrine only phenyl ring is present. There is no any substitution of this phenyl ring by hydroxyl group. So these are about the sympathomimetic drugs, catechol amides and non-catechol amides. Now we discuss about the structural activity relationship of this sympathomimetics by considering the first point that is phenyl ring substitution. Substitution on the aromatic nucleus, especially hydroxy that is OH groups at third and fourth positions of the ring are required for maximal alpha and beta activity. Example adrenaline and noradrenaline. Here is the structure of adrenaline and here is the nor adrenaline structure and in both the case there are the presence of this hydroxyl group to the third and to the fourth position. So this is the basic requirement of that drug which get attached to the alpha and beta receptor and produce the activity. Next point, these compounds as it having a catechol nucleus they get metabolized by COMT that is catechol O methyl transferase. This is an enzyme which are responsible for the inactivation of this drug. Due to that it having a poor oral activity. Substitution with groups other than OH which reduces alpha adrenergic activity and almost it abolishes the beta adrenergic activity. So it the benzene ring must have a hydroxyl group and which are a beneficial one. Other than this which may reduce the alpha adrenergic activity and there is a totally 
abolishes the beta adrenergic activity moving to the next point 3 hydroxy substitution if it have which use a alpha activity example phenylephrine it is a selective alpha 1 receptor agonist here is the structure of phenylephrine and it contains a, instead of catechol nucleus it just having a only one hydroxyl group and which is to the third position so it is a only act, it shows a alpha activity only next point the hydroxyl groups at third and fifth position in compound with large amino substituent which confirms the beta 2 selectivity beta 2 selectivity means it is get binds to the beta 2 receptor and produce the action examples like meta proteinol and terbutalin here is the structure of meta proteinol and here is the structure of terbutalin and in both the case it having a presence of hydroxyl group to the third and to the fifth position whereas this amino group which are having a larger alkyl group gets attached so it having a selectivity towards beta 2 receptor and one more point regarding to this as it doesn't contain the catechol nucleus it is resistance to comt and have a longer duration of action and oral effectiveness and moving to the substitution at carbon in side chain separation of the aromatic ring and the amino group by two carbon atom shows the greatest activity so here is the just now we have seen it having a beta phenyl ethylamine common structure and there are the presence of a two carbon in between the amino group and the phenyl ring if you increase or decrease the chain length of that side chain then it will produce a inactive compound small alkyl group like methyl or ethyl if it is present at alpha carbon which slow down the metabolism by mao mao means mono amino oxidase enzyme this is the another enzyme which are responsible for the metabolism or inactivation of the sympathomimetic drugs ethyl group at alpha carbon which decreases the activity substitution at alpha carbon also increases asymmetric center into this nucleus producing pair of diastereomers the beta carbon has hydroxyl group which has a maximum direct activity so this beta carbon that is to the second carbon it must have a hydroxyl group and which is a general requirement for this sympathomimetic drugs and because of the this beta carbon having hydroxyl group which produce maximum direct activity now next one is the substitution at nitrogen substitution on the amino group on increasing the size of alkyl substituent which decreases alpha receptor agonistic activity but at the same time it increases the beta receptor activity example isoproteinol here is a structure and here is the presence of this isopropyl group and which of alkyl substituent it having a very good beta receptor activity that is it get binds to the beta receptor and elicit the active elicit the activity but it decreases the alpha receptor agonistic activity so here we discuss about the structural activity relationship of these sympathomimetic drugs hope all of you getting this thank you and happy learning